a circle, a curved surface and another circle. This is a cylinder. A right circular cylinder to be precise. Every cylinder has a central axis which passes through the centers of the two circles. The areas of the two circles are equal. That's because the cylinder we consider has a uniform cross section. This tells us that the radii of the two circles will be equal. In a right circular cylinder, the distance between the two centers of the circles is its height. Let's call it H. So how do we find the total surface area of the cylinder? It will be the sum of areas of the two circles and the area of the curved surface. As the radius is r, the area of each circle will be pi r squared. So the sum of the areas of both the circles will be pi r squared plus pi r squared. But what is the area of the curved surface? This is interesting. The curved surface when opened up will look like a rectangle. And what will be the length and the breadth of this rectangle? The breadth is easy. It will be the height of the cylinder. But what about the length? Yes, the length of the rectangle will be the circumference of the circle. It will be 2 pi r. It was easy. All we did was open this curved surface up. Anyway, these two together add up to 2 pi r squared and the area of this rectangle will be 2 pi r h. That's it. This is the total surface area of a cylinder with radius of the base r and height h. As 2 pi r is common to both the terms, we can write it as 2 pi r times r plus h. That's the total surface area. What is this blue part then? It's called the curved surface area of the cylinder. 2 pi r h. And finally, we come to the volume of a cylinder. It equals the area of its base times its height. As the base is circular, its area will be pi r squared and its height is h. That's the volume of a cylinder. Pi r squared h. You don't have to memorize any of this. You can easily derive the total surface area and for the volume, you just need to know that it is the area of its base or its cross section times its height.